Back to a major development in the class action lawsuit over the train derailment in East Palestine. A $600 million settlement was announced this morning in the suit filed against Norfolk Southern. And you can find the full story. It's up on WFMJ.com and the 21 News app right now. The details on how much each plaintiff could be awarded is still getting ironed out officially, but still a lot of questions regarding class action suits, how these work. We're bringing back 21 News legal expert Matt Mangino to answer some of the top questions we have today. Today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah, what's your reaction to this? You said this seems a little bit quick. I was surprised to hear this came up so soon. What do you make of them reaching a settlement just a little over a year after that derailment? Yeah, Lindsay, I am surprised by the uh, swift nature of the settlement of this um, class action suit. I mean, typically it takes uh, a long period of time to really uh, ferret out, you know, who the claimants are and what they're entitled to and the different sort of ranges of entitlement. You know, did you have an injury? Were you in close proximity? I mean, th th those issues still have to be worked out. Uh, you know, 600 million is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But when you spread it across an entire community, a 20 mile radius of uh, the train derailment, uh, the money doesn't look as large any longer. Oh no, we're doing the math, plus we don't know. Some of the unknowns are the attorney's fees and some of the other fees that could be included. Uh, and you just don't know exactly the number of platons and whether they're married or not. So a lot to sort through, but residents, they sued over lost income, lodging, a lot of other expenses, health concerns. Do you think this number is big enough or as big as you would have thought you would hear? Well, I, you know, I, I, I really don't, I, I thought that the number might be larger, I thought, that the, that the time between when uh, this suit was filed and when there would be an ultimate resolution would have would have taken a greater amount of time because you know we're talking you know about a large group of people uh, who could have been affected and could have long term um, consequences from this this uh, train derailment. We we don't know what the long term effects in terms of health are, are going to be. And, you know, we know that there are, you know, a lot of people live within the 20 mile radius of that area. And so there's going to be a lot of claims. And how are they going to differentiate, differentiate the claims and what those claimants are entitled to? Yeah, a lot of questions about the timing of this, motivations for it. But how long does it take for a plaintiff in a class action suit to receive their money? Well, that, it's going to take some time because part of this uh, settlement, the $600 million, some of that money is going to go to, you know, actuarial experts who are going to try to determine what, you know, certain classes of people are entitled to under this settlement. Uh, you know, did you have personal injury? Uh, did you have, did you live in close proximity? You know, what are you entitled to as, as you sort of move out from uh, ground zero where this where this incident occurred. So there's a lot of analysis that still has to be done. What we know is there's going to be six hundred million dollars to divvy up. We just don't know what people are going to be entitled to and how long it's going to take to figure that out. Matt, in a court filing Tuesday, attorneys for the plaintiffs, the victims, they expect the judge to approve the funds no later than April 19th. That's just 10 days away. So is there still time for other potential residents or nearby victims to apply for the class action funds? Well, I think that process of applying will happen after, you know, the, this uh, settlement occurs. And what uh, claimants will have the ability to do is to opt out of this uh, class action suit. You don't have to take what there is being offered to you through this analysis uh, that's going to happen. You can opt out and say, hey, I'm going to file my own suit because I was physically harmed or I had greater uh, wage losses or I had more damages that I'm being compensated for. So so the claimants and potential claimants will have the right to opt out of uh, this class action lawsuit if they want to. All right, definitely a lot of questions and definitely a big story today here in the Valley. Really appreciate you joining us, Matt, as always. Thank you, Lindsay.